my girlfriend of six years cheated on me with an older man. This is quite an old story and it's always pretty cathartic for me to get it off of my chest when it's bothering me. I still feel the effects of it on my soul some 10 years later. I'm 32 now but at the time I was 22 and my girlfriend was 20. We had been together for 6 years all of the way from high school. I can tell you exact dates even today. We were together from September 22, 2006 until October 12, 2012. I loved this girl, I loved her with my entire self unconditionally. I had the wool pulled over my eyes in life and thought that no matter what we would always be together, we would always work together to get through everything, we would always have each other's backs. We were one another's first love. How could we not commit to one another that way? That's what I thought at least. We had already had a cheating incident about two years prior to this. I had heard through the grapevine that she was possibly going behind my back with someone and she was but it turned out to be another girl who was slightly older. Now, of course, at 20 years old you think this is actually the coolest thing ever. Ah oh yeah my girl is into girls, this is rad. But it ended up turning into something I didn't want to deal with. Youthful 20 year old insecurity on my part. So we got through that but I don't think things were ever truly the same. I feel like she was beginning to experience FOMO a problem I think that a lot of us guys have had to deal with when it comes to being cheated on. She was around 18 at the time and I think she was really beginning to doubt that I was the person she wanted to be with and I can see that plain as day now. Fast forward to 2012. She had graduated in 2011, two years after me. We're in the sixth year together. Despite the speed bump we had previously our relationship at no point ever felt like it dwindled. We did things together all of the time, she never rejected me physically or vice versa, and I felt like everything was phenomenal. I'm working and going to college, she's working. I'm trying to get a foothold financially so that we can hopefully, in my eyes anyway, start getting ready to set the rest of our lives in motion. Then, finally, things felt like they started changing. For the first time ever she was beginning to show less interest in me little by little and it happened fast, probably about a month before I found out. She had recently switched jobs and had gotten a great one, much better than what she had had previously. I saw this as awesome for us as together we were making great money and could start saving for a house. When that was actually an attainable dream for young people. But she just continued to show less and less interest, it really just snowballed. Of course my mind started to whisper in my ear she's met someone at this new job and I was right. One day I decided to use some of my PTO and leave work early about halfway through the day. I just wasn't feeling working that day. Her and I had fun plans for that night because it was on a Friday. It was kind of a spur of the moment decision on my part to leave early so I didn't text her or call her immediately to let her know. I figured she was at work herself and would follow up with her later. So I get in the car and drive home, not a single worry in the world. I pull up to our house, which was a rental, and there was a vehicle parked out front that I didn't recognize and my girlfriend's Ford Explorer was parked in the driveway. Immediately I'm perplexed. I knew she had a lot of friends and they came over to hang out with us from time to time but I didn't recognize this one. It was a navy blue BMW Beamer, late 2000s model. I thought who the fuck is this? As soon as, and I mean as soon as I unlocked the front door and opened it and I heard her. When I tell you my heart sank to the very bottom of my feet I mean it. I just stood there honestly for what felt like a minute, listening to her moan and shit while the entire previous six years played out in my mind and also the embarrassment I would feel having to tell my family, who thought very highly of her and loved her, and friends this had happened. I swallowed my pride and finally just walked inside. I went down the hallway and turned the corner to the bedroom and just leaned on one side of the frame. Neither one noticed me immediately because of the way the bed was facing the doorway foot first. I saw just his back and her laying flat on her stomach beneath him while he was fucking her from behind. 
I could have just left right then and they never would have even known I was there but I said something just casual like hey, what's up? It shocked the shit out of both of them. She hit me with the what are you doing here, as you'd expect, the typical stuff. I think he was definitely way more embarrassed than she was. I just left and went back to the car. I can't even describe the things I was feeling but the strongest emotion was did I really just waste 6 years of time and effort on this girl. And also just disbelief she would ever do this to me. She came outside a few minutes later to talk to me and it didn't get any better from there. When I tell you these words affected me for the next 10 years and continue to do so to this day I mean it. You're annoying, you make me miserable, you're terrible in bed, and I never wanted to be with you anyway. It reads and sounds like a comical villain from a movie or something but she literally looked me dead in the face and said all of these things with such venom like she had been holding onto them for a long time. My confidence in myself was shattered and I still struggle with it to this day, everyone I have been with in a serious relationship with since has had to deal with the aftermath of that day and it's not fair to them. I found out in the next few days details. He was in his 40s and was her boss at work at her new job and was also married with at least one kid. I don't blame him for wanting her necessarily. She was gorgeous, tall about 5 feet 9 inches, 5 feet 10 inches huge and gorgeous green eyes, absolutely amazing rack, great ass, good personality and fun to be around. To me she is still the most beautiful woman I've ever been with. I fell in love with her the very first instant I saw her. I didn't seek to sabotage their tryst but I do know eventually that him and her began a serious relationship and he had left his wife. He was somewhere in his mid 40s now with my ex who was 20. They ended up having a kid of their own together which made me sick to my stomach in the mid 2010s when I heard about that. It's been 11 years now and it doesn't bother me day to day but my confidence and approach to the dating world and women in general I think is still greatly affected by it. Comment. I feel for you. Similar story from my past. Went as far as ring shopping and suddenly she met someone else, didn't leave right away but just started being insufferable, and married the new guy. It still bothers me that for some reason I was unmarriable, that we got so close and she took a chance elsewhere. Sometimes I think I haven't let go because if I do I will be somehow admitting that love wasn't meaningful, that it didn't happen, like there was no one to witness what was so meaningful to me and not to anyone else. That letting go of the pain is the hardest. If I let go of that then it's like our years together and the love that I felt never happened. I'm a woman in a rather toxic relationship, you've just made me see why I have been holding on for over 14 years. No marriage, no kids. I hope it was helpful. I couldn't figure out why I held on to her or pain for so long. I was in love, but she was oftentimes cruel and toxic, but then she could be as good as she was cruel and toxic and it was confusing. Having it end in such a horrible way made me feel like I had imagined the whole thing. I blamed myself for a lot of it. The only thing I can think is that if I just let this die and let go it feels like all that love and investment is completely water and that love that felt very tangible went unappreciated or unwitnessed. It's a difficult feeling to express. You've been holding on to this pain for a very very long time. You might have even sabotaged some of your relationships since then. I think you really need to see a therapist. Your story made me so sad. I hope you get help because you should be happy in a relationship now. I don't think you've ever gotten over it. Classic narcissistic cheater mate. They can't take the blame or responsibility of their own deeds. They can't face the consequences slash repercussions of their own actions. They're narcissistic self-centered people who think they can never do anything wrong and what they do is always right and justified. Pathetic weak-minded people is what they truly are. So I'm telling you mate, don't pay no heed to the words of the likes of her as her words mean nothing. Next story too. My husband told me he was going to South America and actually went to Europe. We have been together 4 years, married when I was 19. We have a prenup which benefits both of us, mostly, and we also own and operate a business together. 
I have caught him in several lies and confronted him about this general problem two weeks ago. He listened and told me he would not lie to me anymore and he was sorry. Bottom line, I was told that he was visiting Argentina with his special needs 14 year old son, which I was okay with. He stuck with this story when he came back and when I asked him about his return flight, he told me he took a direct flight from Argentina that flew directly back to the US where we live. This flight did not exist on any directories. Come to find out, he actually went to Rome. With his special needs son, who is in pictures with him, and his ex, they divorced 12 years ago, who helps care for his son. He said directly to me that it was a trip for him and his son only but that his ex flew there to help them with a waiver only and did not stay the entire trip. This is not the first time I have caught him in a lie. In May, he told me he was just relaxing and he actually went to a concert three hours away with said son and ex. I am done at this point. It is clear I cannot trust him and need to divorce. Do I tell him now or later? How do I even handle this? I have just wasted four years of my life on this man and don't even know how I should proceed. I'm so lost. Comnet. You should have asked for relationship advice when you were 19 and was asked to be married to a 54 year old. 23 is extremely young still. Write off the four years as a learning experience, and maybe date within your own age range in future as, typically, men old enough to be your grandfather won't see you as their equal. Have friend or family come help you pack up your stuff tonight and don't tell him until they are there. He clearly sleeping with the ex still. Once your friend or family help you pack tell him his lies are what caused this. He clearly a compulsive liar and you think he's sleeping with her otherwise why she there and you're not. Block his number and cut him out completely tell him he will be hearing from your lawyer and to sign the papers and let you move on and then he can be with his ex. What's with that age gap, prenup, company, what kind of marriage is that? Considering this and also his lies and his behavior, does his ex really know she is his ex or are they just still married and you are his young side chick for which he set up a fake wedding or stuff because that one covers the whole globe with red flags? I'm sorry you've gone through this. You didn't waste four years though, that mindset will only harm you more, especially down the line. I hope one day if not now that you see it as a lesson and life experience, not something to be bitter about and holy regret. I agree you should divorce, he's the type to want his cake and eat it too. I would proceed with divorce steps as soon as possible and tell him once you have the ball rolling, or immediately, either way he's gonna find out. Better for your sanity to get that conversation over with sooner rather than later. Good luck.